Hey, what's up friends? In this episode, we're gonna talk about how to move an image around an HTML canvas so that we can continue working on our thumbnail builder or generator for uh, working with YouTube. Um, so in the previous episode, we talked all about how to get this Bitmoji sticker picker set up. If you haven't seen that episode, it's pretty fun. Um, and it's actually surprisingly simple. When you click on uh, a sticker here, we are rendering it into our SVG page. It's just, this is kind of funny because um, the more stickers we click, it's just adding new ones. It's not actually clearing them out. But what I wanted to do in this in this episode is like show how we can maybe click on a, a photo and then drag it so that we can place it where we want it. Again, with the idea that like we're gonna make a tool so that we can easily generate thumbnails that are synced to YouTube. So by default, we don't want it always in this top right corner. And in fact, we want it probably down over here in this case, in the case of this style of thumbnail. Um, so let's go implement that now. So if you recall at the very top, this is our Bitmoji sticker picker thing. And then we have a generate PNG button. So when we click on generate PNG, that actually generates our, our ultimate PNG file that can be uploaded directly to the YouTube API with the, um, yeah, with, with the YouTube data V3 API, which we covered in a previous episode. So uh, if you want, to uh, check that out, we have also got content about how to upload thumbnails to YouTube using Ruby on Rails. Um, okay, so what I wanted to do today was just talk about how this works. So we've got our snap kit that's initialized and we have when the sticker pick callback runs, we are creating a new image. We are setting that image's source tag equal to the URL, the Bitmoji URL for that. I needed to add this cross origin equal anonymous so that when we rendered it into the, the HTML canvas context, um, it did not consider it tainted because uh, other if you don't pass this cross origin, then it expects that images are directly um, from the same domain. So uh, by saying cross origin anonymous and um, thankfully Bitmoji does allow uh, cores requests or whatever. So we're able to then convert this to a PNG. So what we want to do now is like, instead of just sticking this thing at zero, zero, just in the top left corner, let's try to make it right in the middle. Um, so I've got the sticker image. I think we also want like where, where the current X and Y of the image are. So we'll say like current X and current Y. And initially let's just set these to, um, the center of the canvas. So canvas dot width divided by two and um, canvas dot height divided by two. And let's see if that will drop it in the middle. Can, or let's see, current X and current Y. Let's see. All right, so now if we add a, whoops, we have to go back through the flow here, the OAuth flow, I think it, the, these sessions are pretty short. Um, okay, so then if we click on the that, it ends up being sort of centered, but I think it's because the top left corner, like this is a, a square sticker picture, right? The top left corner, I believe, is maybe centered in the middle of the of the canvas, but the image is not. So I think we need to account for like the height and width of the image. So we're, let's just say that we want to put the image at current x minus um, sticker image dot width divided by two and the current Y is gonna be minus sticker image dot height divided by two. Let's see if that gets us a little closer to the middle. And then we say, hey, hey, hey. All right, so that's sort of smack in the middle. That looks pretty good. So the next thing that we wanna do is use some of the functions that are available on the canvas for mouse events. So let's register some mouse events on the, can on the canvas. So we're gonna have canvas dot on mouse down. That'll be a function. And then we'll have canvas dot on mouse out, I think, is another function. And canvas on mouse up. Um, on mouse up. Let's just see if these work also. So we'll say like console.log ma uh, mouse down. And then we'll say like e dot layer x and e dot layer y. I, I think we want to use the layers X and Y. So it's relative to the, I believe that's relative to the canvas. I'm not actually sure. Up and then out. If you know uh, <laughs> what the difference is between like um, the mouse events, layer X, page X, and uh, <laughs> there's a whole bunch of different like X and Y coordinates that you get from a mouse event, I would love to know. So leave a comment down in the description if you have 
um, if you have some deep knowledge about how mouse events work. Um, okay, so we are we are rendering these, right? So like, uh, if we mouse out, then it you'll see in the console down here, right, that the mouse out event is happening. And if we mouse down, we see mouse down, we can drag around and then mouse up, that happens, and then we have mouse out, cool. So what I wanna do is I wanna, I wanna make like a new, a new variable called draggable. Um, and we'll set it to false initially. And then we, we need to like detect if uh, the click was on the image or just like even if it was just close to it. And then if, for, if we mouse up or if we mouse out, we wanna set draggable back to false. Okay, so uh, when we're detecting if the click was on the image, how is this gonna work? So we wanna see if the image's click, so this layer X and layer Y, was on the image. So we kind of need to see like, was it inside of the bounds? So if e.layerx is less than or equal to um, something, uh, and e.layerx was greater than or equal to something, then we'll say draggable is equal to true, and we'll just console.log like clicked image, um, Otherwise, we'll say else like console.log didn't click, didn't click the image. And uh, so what is this actually gonna look like? So um, if, if where we click on the page is less than, um, what is gonna be the far right bound is gonna be the right edge of the sticker. And the right edge of the sticker is gonna be like current x plus um, sticker image dot width over two, right? And then, um, so that's gonna be the far right edge of the image. The far left ed edge of the image is gonna be current x minus sticker image dot width divided by two, because that, that'll kind of like give us the two edges, the two edges of the image, right? So let's see if this works. So if we pick our image here, and let's just say good vibes, and then if we click on it, it says clicked image, that's pretty cool. If we click over here, didn't click image. This is gonna say clicked image if we click above or below because we're not looking at Y bounds, we're just looking at X bounds. But the same, now we can like kind of copy our logic here um, and then just say instead of X, we can say um, uh, layer X to layer Y. And in fact, like, uh, we'll just change x for y in this in this row here. Um, all right, so, and then instead of width, this needs to be height. All right, so let's see if that worked. Um, so we need to add an image to the page again, or an image back to our SVG. All right, didn't click the image. So I'm looking down here in the console for um, for this console.logs. So click the image, didn't click the image, click the image. Okay, this is great. So the next step is that like, now we know whether or not um, we're draggable. So we can just check this like draggable variable, right? Um, let me just clean this up a little bit too. So we've got our stuff that makes it a little bit visible. So, uh, okay, so um, we're detecting if the image was clicked, and if so, we're setting it to drag, we're setting draggable to true. And if it's draggable, then what we wanna do is like move to a new current X and current Y, I believe, right? So how is this gonna work? So, um, I think then also like we need to redraw the image at the new current X and the new current Y. Um, so I think we might need to say mouse move on mouse move. So canvas on mouse move is another event. And if we're moving around, so if draggable, so if we're moving and, and we're draggable, meaning that we clicked down on the image, then we need to update current X and current Y. So current X should be equal to like E dot layer X and current Y should be equal to E dot layer Y, I think. All right, let's see. Let's see if this works. So we want, uh, actually, how is this, how is this going to work? So then now that we have the new current X and current Y, every single, like, 
on some interval, we need to like re-render the image, right? We need to like redraw the image. So instead of just drawing it once on load here, I think I want to do this like um, in an interval. So set interval. So this runs several times. And then we'll just say like, do this every 200 milliseconds or something. And because we're using current X and current Y, I think this should work just fine. So we're gonna, um, every 200 milliseconds, we will redraw the image. So let's refresh this. So we'll pick a sticker and drop that smack in the middle. Oh, look at that. Okay, so I've clicked and I'm dragging it around. And then if I let go, I can click and drag it again from the same spot. Okay, this is super cool, but do you notice a problem? <laughs> There's a lot of, that's a lot of I love yous. Okay, so the problem is that like, it's not, as we're moving the image around, it's leaving the old images that were printed, but it's not removing them. Um, so it's also probably like this draw image thing is never like clearing it out. It's just like constantly drawing new ones, uh, probably way too much. So that's a little bit messy. Um, all right, so let's see what we, what we actually need to do. So in addition to drawing the image, we kind of need to like um, reset the canvas and resetting the canvas really has to do with this initial load. So um, drawing this image here. So const reset canvas is a, is a function that we will just, we'll just do this thing. So we'll just call draw image from, from the SVG. So this is the old, like this is basically like the background. Um, so we'll, let's just try this out. So let's see what happens. So if we add a, an image here, Oh my gosh, look at that. So cool. All right, so then after we've got it in the right position, if we say generate PNG, boom. All right, cool. So that is how you move an image around on, on a canvas. So it required a couple of different things. This is just like a quick recap. We added a new variable called draggable, which we set to true only if we detected a mouse down event that was on the image, which we figured out based on where we place the image initially and based on the size of the image. Um, and then the current X and current Y is sort of like the constantly moving center of the image. And then on mouse move, we updated that X and Y and then on mouse up or mouse out, then we just like set it to draggable false. So in fact, like if we, if we, um, if we drag the image and go out of the frame, notice that it just does the mouse out like that and, and it makes it no longer draggable anymore. So that, that totally works. Um, and that's, that's pretty cool. All right, so hopefully this was useful if you found it, uh, if you found this helpful uh, and you're curious about more, uh, more episodes like this covering different JavaScript things or messing around with video, messing around with APIs, uh, this is a great place to be. And uh, yeah, you might consider subscribing and turning on those notifications so that you know when uh, new, new content comes out. Right now, publishing at a weekly cadence. All right, thanks everyone, and we'll see you next time. Thank mm -hmm. you.